Hi guys, I just wanted to make a quick video here to let you know that Steve Fletcher has put up a video today or yesterday maybe that um, is really great. I'm going to leave the link to this video, to his video, in the description box. The first link you see there will be to that video and also the first comment on my channel should be um, a link to that video. I'm sure many of you are subscribed to his channel as well. Um, he has a number of signs pointing us to Pentecost this year as the first fruits rapture, all of which are not even in the puzzle other than the solar eclipse that I just put in the puzzle last week about the, being in the whale constellation. The sun goes through the whale constellation one day of the year. Every year the sun passes through numerous constellations, but the one day of the year it happens to pass through the whale constellation is the time that the solar eclipse took place 40 days before Pentecost if you count from April 19th it was April 19th in the United States when that eclipse took place the 40th day would be Pentecost this is an amazing sign that God has given to us just as Jonah was in the belly of the whale and then for 40 days he preached repentance to Nineveh and the Ninevites repented and many people believe that they saw an eclipse take place just as Jonah entered into the city and began to preach about a 40-day period. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's very interesting that um, we have this sign of this eclipse. And if you watch Steve's video, there are so many more signs. I especially like what he has to say about the um, 70 years. If you count from um, when Israel became a nation in May of 1948, the first Pentecost season which actually starts at during Passover and there was blood moons and eclipses taking place at that time in 1949 the first Pentecost season would have been 1949 uh, in Israel the 70th the 70 years from there would have ended in 2019 and then he adds the parable of the fig tree to that which means um, a four years is added given to Israel from uh, 2019 uh, in May until 2023. The parable of the fig tree is a four-year wait until they cut the cut down of the fig tree. There's a number of scriptures mentioned about 70-year count and then Jesus talks about a four-year wait to cut down the fig tree and he comes after three years he's ready to cut down the tree which is really interesting because last Pentecost in um, June I believe it was June 6th, 9, uh, 2022, was the last date I pointed to before this Pentecost as the first fruits rapture. Um, and there was so many pieces of the puzzle. Everything We had the same signs. We had the sun being darkened, the blood moons before Pentecost. And then on the 14th day of Tabernacles, we had the um, sun darken, the moon not give us light, and the stars fall from the sky. Last year, in 2022, the exact same signs, the exact same count of 140 days between these two events first fruits rapture, the main harvest rapture. And um, June 6th, I believe, is a Jerusalem day in Israel. It was There was so many things pointing to last year. It was such a shock to me that the rapture didn't happen at that time. And um, it does say in the, in the story that Jesus came looking for fruit after three years. He's ready to cut the tree down, but he gives it one final year. So I mentioned on the video, I wrote a comment to Steve that there's two puzzle pieces I would encourage him to mention in a, in a video coming up. And one is that Memorial Day, he talks about um, this 1290 day count ending on Memorial Day from the time that the first COVID case happened. And um, Memorial Day is the unofficial start of summer in America. We know the official start of summer isn't until like June 21st or something, but May 29th is Memorial Day this year. And if you just do a, a search on a Google search or whatever, and write unofficial start of summer, May 29th will be the day that comes up. Memorial Day is known as the unofficial start of summer in America. And Jesus did mention about the, when he's talking about the parable of the fig tree, know that summer is near, uh, even at the door. So again the Lord gives us so many clues pointing to what's coming this year and the other puzzle piece I told him he really needs to think about and I'd like to mention it again I've mentioned it numerous times but for those of you who are new to my channel I have hundreds of new subscribers over the last couple of weeks so there's this amazing puzzle piece and it, it starts uh, in the book of Jubilees if you've ever heard of that I believe it's chapter 3 where it says that 
Adam and Eve were in the garden for seven years, and on the 17th day of the second month during the eighth year that they were there, the woman, the, uh, the serpent came to the woman to tempt her, and that's when the, they fell on that day. Adam and Eve fell into sin. And um, so the fall of man took place on the 17th day of the second month. We know the flood started on the 17th day of the second month. And Revelation 12 makes reference to both of these things. When it talks about the serpent or the dragon coming after the woman like a flood, <laughs> to come after her like a flood. So the Revelation 12 is clearly giving us hints pointing at the 17th day of the second month. Uh, we also see in Revelation 12 that Michael is there and he is fighting the dragon and it says a great war in heaven. It talks about a great war in heaven taking place. Go over to Daniel chapter 10. The first verse of that chapter says the vision concerns a great war. Michael is seen in, in Daniel 10 and we also see the Lord appearing to Daniel and it says his voice is like the sound of a great multitude which points us to Revelation 19. John says, I heard the voice of a great multitude in heaven saying, the wedding of the Lamb has come, the bride has made herself ready. So going back to Daniel 10, we have a 21 day delay seen there. Well, the 17th day of the second month this year in Israel is May 8th. And if we use that as the first day and count 21 days, then the 21st day is Pentecost. So the scriptures are clearly pointing us to this Pentecost and we, when we look at Revelation 12 and Daniel 10, just those two chapters, combine that with the flood starting on the 17th day of the second month and the fall of man, the serpent come after the woman on the 17th day of the second month, that's hinted at very strongly in Revelation 12. The serpent comes after the woman like a flood both of those stories that the scripture is telling us look at the 17th day of the second month Michael great war oh that takes us to Daniel 10 Michael's there a great war is happening 21 day delay sound of a great multitude all of these are like puzzle pieces you put them together and it clearly points us once again to Pentecost as the time of the first fruits rapture Revelation 14 talks about the first fruits that are offered on Mount Zion that happened on Pentecost when Moses went up the mountain, Mount Sinai, um, and the mountain was shaking. That was the first trumpet we see mentioned in the Bible. First trumpet equals the last. The last shall be the first. These principles are in the scriptures. It's, they're like mathematical puzzle pieces that you put together. And when we put them together, we, we see that Pentecost is the time. Hebrews 12 says, you have not come to a mountain that is burning with fire and, tr and you should not be trembling with fear. You have come to the heavenly Mount Zion, not Mount Sinai. You've come to Mount Zion, the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of a multitude of angels. And it talks about a great escape in that chapter. If we do not hearken unto the words of the Lord, then we will not escape this judgment that's coming. So there's an escape first fruits are taken to Mount Zion, Revelation 14, standing on Mount Zion with the Lamb. We have 144,000 virgins who um, uh, have no lie found in the mouths. They are blameless. They have escaped the judgment, the great tribulation that's going to come. So I encourage you to read the, my book, the summary of my book, and my testimony to understand how the puzzle pieces come together to point to Pentecost. And I encourage you to watch Steve's video because there's no number of signs there that I don't even have in my book. And they're amazing, amazing calculations, amazing signs that he talks about. Um, but if you want to see the whole picture, the whole puzzle of, you know, when does the Great Tribulation begin? When does it end? When does Jesus come back to earth? If you want to see all of the puzzle pieces, then read the book because it's all in there. And the Bible is very clear as to the dates of when all of these things will happen if you put all of the puzzle pieces together. So I appreciate your time and I pray this is a wonderful day for you guys. Um, again, I am working on translating my book into as many languages as I can. That is what I am doing. I am working my tail off. <laughs> I have, I believe I've fi finished 17 or 18 um, books now, different languages, and I've finished 49 languages translating my testimony and the summary of the book so if you know people in other countries i 
I ask you to continue to share this information with them. We have less than a month left to go. We are less than 30 days now. So um, our time is getting short to warn people and they will, if they are left behind after the first fruits rapture takes place, they will be very appreciative that they have this information. Um, we don't know if there's going to be internet after the first fruits rapture. Whatever is going to happen is going to be very, very unbelievable. <laughs> Something that's never happened before. And there's going to be a lot of people missing from the planet Earth. And there's going to be um, a lot of chaos going on. So if you can print off a hard copy of the book and print it off for as many people as you can, that would be very wise for your left behind friends and family. So I hope you have a great day. God bless you guys.